hey guys so this is future nello just here to give you guys a message before you start watching this video please 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 i have a new channel a new cook channel you guys know i love cooking so this is me just coming here to tell you guys to please go and subscribe to my new channel before you start watching this video the link is going to be in my description box down below and the name is currently on the screen right now okay so please subscribe to your girl's new channel i love cooking and i cannot wait to share that part of me with you guys without letting it interrupt the content you get on this channel okay thank you very much because i know a lot of you are going to subscribe and thank you to all those that have already subscribed at this point okay hope you enjoyed this one good morning guys welcome back to another vlog so this is a different type of vlog because um yeah i'm just going to be sharing my experience with my teeth with you guys in this vlog and yeah what i'm going to do to clear it and yeah all that good stuff so without talking too much let me just get into the story okay <music> I know I look very different from the from the me you people just saw okay but yes 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 tell me that I'm fine as usual thank you very much but um yeah so the story of how my teeth became brown okay before I start before I go into the story you guys see anytime I'm editing my videos I always see my brown teeth and then I'll be like oh my god they're going to notice in this video everybody's going to be telling my teeth is brown and then I put out the video and nobody says pim like literally no pim about my teeth and like you people are the real MVP okay <laughs> Thank you for pretending like you've not been seeing it, but it's really been disturbing me. Like, I've actually been very disturbed about this whole brown teeth or stained teeth, if I might say so myself. Anyways, um, I, I'm sorry if I'm talking too fast. I'm a little bit hyper. I don't know why. But, um, so before my pregnancy, I had really, really good teeth. Your girl has always had good white teeth. Okay? Um, yeah, I had really, really good teeth. But then I was always sick at the beginning of my pregnancy. The nausea was too much. And I needed to do something to stop it. And the only thing I found out that stopped it was um, garden egg leaf. You know the garden egg that people eat? It actually has a leaf. I don't know if people know this. But yeah, it has a leaf. Garden egg leaf is really bitter. So that was the only thing that helped me. So I was eating a whole lot of it. There was a time in a day I could finish a big bowl of garden egg leaf. Literally... I was chewing like a goat all the time and my friends used to make fun of me about that especially Kelly girl but anyways I noticed that as I was eating it it was staining my teeth it, like my teeth just started staining and staining and getting worse and slowly 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 it got really really bad by the time I noticed how bad my teeth was it, was it was already towards the end of my pregnancy but as I was pregnant it wasn't what was in my mind I wasn't worried about it I wasn't even concerned I didn't I wasn't even bothered about it in any way because I was pregnant so now that I've had the baby it's now come back to my head i'm actually now realizing that i have stained teeth okay and i mean it's not like it stops me from living my life but i don't like when i'm watching my video maybe it's because i'm on youtube maybe that's why it's disturbing me i don't like when i'm watching my videos and um i see stained teeth all over my screen no i don't like it and i've been putting out videos all this while noticing it and feeling a certain way about it but I just didn't bring out the time to actually do something about it until today that I decided to go and wash my teeth. I'm not thinking that today is the wrong day to go and wash my teeth because I have makeup on, so I might postpone it to tomorrow. But anyways, um, yeah, until now that I want to go and wash my teeth because your girl is tired of being embarrassed about her stained teeth. Let me zoom in so you people can see how stained my teeth is. It doesn't even show through as much in the camera. It's worse in real life. So yes, can you see it? It's like this... The worst is this one right here. And then all oh, these ones are stained. All oh, these ones. A little bit here. And then in, in between my teeth, I have things here as well. On top, by the side, I think I can see it. There's just a whole bunch of things, you guys. So I'm happy that I'm finally going to do something about it. So if I end up going today, I'll let you guys know. If not, I'll carry you guys along tomorrow. I'm excited to, to be transforming my teeth, to be giving my teeth a whole new look. And I will show you guys what it will look like when I'm done. Hey guys, so um let me reduce this AC so people can hear me. So um yeah, I've been postponing going to the dentist the last time i updated you guys that was almost a week ago i said i was going to go that day no i didn't i said i was going to go the next day mm -mm, i didn't just know that i've not gone since and today is friday the 7th of february and it is my anniversary today so yeah so i'm feeling some sort of way yeah i want to go and wash my teeth today so that's where i'm heading i'll carry you guys along so guys i'm here the dental clinic is somewhere up here 
the surrounding is not really looking very enticing okay So guys I have reached I'm currently sitting at the reception and it actually looks quite nice the surrounding was not very encouraging but the inside is really neat and really nice so so yes I just talked to someone now so I'm just waiting to be attended to So I'm currently filling the form. There's no light. The person at the reception has gone to put on the gen. I'm sure if you guys are hearing some noises outside. But yes, she has gone to put on the gen and I am filling the form. And yeah, the form is very simple. I just showed you guys. Oh wow, there's a lot inside though. Ah. Am I supposed to fill all this history, history, family history just because I want to wash my teeth? I'm done filling my form and the gen is on now and there's light, the AC is on and everybody's just looking bright and fine. See? Very bright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But this one is it giving you any issues? Both yeah. of them from time to time will give me issues. This one has there's a gun going on. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have to cut it up. Cut so I really want to do that. Who doesn't but I don't know if I'm ready for that one today. <laughs> Did you take out anyone up here? Mm, when I was younger. Okay. Place is really nice. When I was coming up, I was almost discouraged. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, we are actually trying to renovate the place. We are done with the cleaning of the teeth. I'm going to reveal it later. But in the meantime, I have this gum that grew above my last teeth down here, above my last tooth. And um, yeah, I've tried to take it out since I'm here at once. I just wanted to do, I just want to do everything at once. I'm quite scared of this one because they, they have to cut it off. It's like a surgical procedure. But since I'm already here, I just want to get everything done at once. Now they're going to numb the area clearly before cutting it out. I feel like spitting a lot. But yeah, I'll, I'll hopefully tell you guys how everything goes later. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I'm scared of injection. Wait. I can't hear my mouth. Suck something. So you guys, I'm done with the procedure. So um, <laughs> I know I'm talking funny, but yeah, I have um, like what's it called, cutting wool in my mouth that I have to chew down on. 
to stop bleeding so that's why i'm talking funny but anyways um so i went in for washing of my teeth which is basically to remove the stains and just it's not whitening there's a big difference between washing and whitening so i just went in for washing <laughs> i'm not funny i feel like i should do this later but basically um as they were washing the teeth she noticed that i have a gum growing on top of one tooth which um yeah I do have and it disturbs me from time to time sometimes it starts aching me sometimes when I eat food it enters there and it gets really painful so I'm like since I'm washing my teeth let me just remove it once and for all so they had to cut it off for me as well which is why I'm biting on something now and today's my anniversary guys I was supposed to have an anniversary dinner this night it's probably not going to happen because I can't eat I can't eat anything peppery and I can't chew on this side so that dinner Francis and I will have to move it. Um, yeah, I'm sure he's not going to mind, to be honest. It's not like we pre-planned it. It was just impromptu. So we'll have our dinner any day next week that is convenient for two of us. But yeah, let me stop talking weird and just head home and not stress my teeth too much. Maybe tomorrow I'll come back with an update and tell you guys how I'm feeling, how everything is going. They gave me a bunch of drugs. They are in here. The drugs they gave me is basically antibiotics, pain med, vitamin C and i think something else that i'm not sure what that one is but yeah it's just standard meds antibiotics because of infection it can get infected because it's an open wound pain meds for pain vitamin c for vitamin c i don't know what the other one is but yeah tomorrow i'll come back with an update for you guys so guys hi nalu here it's the next day and it's been 24 hours since my procedure so basically i'm sure i updated you guys in the car but just in case i went in for washing my teeth that was what took me in there um but then i had to cut off some part of my gum okay so at, like at this very end the left side the down part i've had this gum growing over my last tooth there so um it's always been like that since i can remember so anytime i eat food enters inside there sometimes i have to go to the mirror like try to use tweezer to tweeze out the food sometimes i use pin or something very thin to go in to bring out the food or toothpick or something but it's just something i've been used to to be honest i never thought that one day i'll cut it off but because i was at the dentist yesterday she equally saw it in fact before i even started my procedure i'm sorry my window is open my neighbors are talking but yes um before i started the procedure um she she mentioned it to me so during it i asked her you know what the process or once i finished my first procedure i asked her the process for cutting this out and um you know the healing and everything so like it probably take five minutes it's not a big deal you just can't eat pepper for three days you'll be able to chew that same day in the evening you know just standard stuff so i'm just like okay let me just go ahead and get it done immediately i wasn't even actually thinking right i could have actually waited because yesterday was my anniversary and um i wasn't able to go out again so we had to move it to next week because we planned dinner and all that anyways um so yeah i went ahead and cut it out so it's it's going to be hard to see but it's basically an open wound right now you see i'm bringing the camera close trying to see to, trying to see if i can show you guys it's just hard to see so it's like i have an open wound here because she's used, used like surgical blade to like cut off a big chunk of my gum that was going above you guys i'm so sorry it's so noisy today but anyways um yeah so i had to bite on the cotton wool for hours even when i removed it it kept bleeding so i continued but after a few hours i just started to remove it and just deal with the blood and then five minutes later the bleeding stopped so i think that the cotton wool was actually making it bleed more because i was biting hard on it but yeah let me show you guys what my new teeth is looking like because your girl has a fine smile now okay now i can shine my 24 without stains i can't even believe i've been like i've had this for how many months now probably about six months or so because it didn't happen at the very beginning of my pregnancy it started happening towards the middle or so but yes i'm glad that my teeth is back to normal let me show you guys so guys oh my god as in i can't tell the difference look at I'm going to go ahead and put a before and after picture at this part before and after you guys this is the difference amazing like amazing so i'm just so happy that i have my smile back and um yeah by the way the procedure the the washing of teeth cost fifteen thousand naira and the cutting off of the gum cost 
10,000 naira and I paid 3,000 naira for registration like opening folder you people already know you have to open folder in this country even though you probably might not go back to the hospital again you still have to open folder anyways um so everything I did yesterday cost me 28,000 naira and she was trying to get me to buy one toothpaste one foreign toothpaste that that was three five but i was like no i spent my limit i don't have money again so i don't buy it though but maybe i should just go back and buy it let me not be penny white pan foolish after i finish whitening my teeth i will now not use better toothpaste <laughs> francis came in i had to finish talking before trying to show him but yeah he's hiding anyways that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed this video i feel like a brand new person okay i feel like a brand new person Thank you guys for sticking with me. Hope you all are doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next one.